Hey all, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing good. So you would already be knowing that I have been posting continuous videos on integration from scratch. So yeah, it covers everything like authentication. There is roadmap, there is dynamic methods, there is uh, scripted REST API, put post, everything like there is SOAP covered, uh, delete covered, scripted SOAP service covered and also part one of interview questions is there. So the last three or four videos, I think it is now, yeah. I have been exploring the lesser known APIs. So we all already know that there is table API uh, provided by ServiceNow in REST API Explorer, which is usually used to update and do all the operations. But there are lesser known APIs also like there is aggregate API, attachment API, import set API, email API, which make your work very easier and are also asked in interviews. So I have been exploring them in the last uh, few videos and you can check them out. There is everything, everything, and there are also use cases covered there is documentation provided so you just check it out and you will get to know everything you can write down your queries in the comment section i reply to everybody so now so you can check that okay so without any further ado let's begin about the email api okay so first uh, there are two methods in the uh, ub email api uh, provided there is get and there is post let me just open email api reference that is from service now for uh, reference okay so this id is the sys id uh, of the email and this is the syspam fields uh, if we don't provide any value here then it will give us all the means all the fields all the field values it will give us of this particular email and if we provide fields then it will give us the value of only those fields of this particular email so let me also go to the emails yeah so yeah this is the get one so as you can see there is api version and there is id okay so api version is i think by default chosen as uh, v1 here because v2 is not the option and uh, uh, id is the society of the email for which to return details and it is data type as a string and table references sys email so i have opened sys email and um, i will be taking this one okay i'll just copy the sys id Alan Motrin, it is, uh, and then go to get. Yeah, so first let's send it without any query parameters of the syspam fields and see what is the result. So, in the result, we have two Alan Motrin, we have CC, we have BCC. Result is the core array, and within this result uh, core, we have this all. 2 is the data array data type cc is again array data type bcc is also again array data type headers is mm -hmm. headers is a json object and then there is subject text html and then there is type there is a state importance there is id sys id okay there is error there is the table name there is the table record id so all this information we got okay now let's suppose i only want some information from it okay comma separated list of fields to return in the response okay now let's suppose i only want uh, some response from it and these are the response body parameters like i said data type is array <coughs> cc also data type is array we have headers we have html enabled body of email message we have id uh, we have society of the email record there is importance there is a state there is subject text text only body of the email message okay there is two type okay so what i want is i just want a subject i just want two i want um, text and i want uh, cc and i want bcc and i want what else i think that is enough yeah that is enough so i just want these all information so i'll just send it hmm. so as you can see in the two we have alien motrin if cc bcc is not there as you can see in blind copy this is empty this one it's empty and in the copied also it is empty okay so that's why cc bcc are not there uh, this is body which is in html form and this is body text which is the text part of the email that is sent this is the content type this is checkpoint headers yeah all this okay so this is the subject and text as i fetched so 
that is that i think it is this much then there is post this is gonna be a short video because not much is there in this okay so for the post one i will just uh, follow what is here let's see okay this is the sample curl request so in post also we have api version and we have email so api version again it took v1 by default okay and we have email that is fine then uh, in the request body parameters we can pass all this bcc cc headers html importance table name incident record table record id text and two okay so let's just uh, uh, by default accept and content type is already uh, request to format and response format is already application or json so we won't be sending any headers okay and this is the response format so we will be using this okay let me just copy till here i will copy okay uh, and i will remove all the unnecessary escape characters that is there and also don't this is the table name I'll change it to incident and I'll copy one of the incident record IDs this incident record ID is the sys ID of the exact incident table record to which you want to associate this email okay so yeah I'll just open the incident table and copy the sys ID of one of the active incidents If you mean well that opens let's just see if there is anything i need to make change hello there service now developer text message testing from rest api explorer okay and i'll let this be table name is incident okay let me just copy this this is also active this is id replace it okay this seems fine to me let's see by sending hope we don't get errors but if we get we'll resolve it okay we have not gotten okay so it has returned us the id which is nothing but uh, sys email table sys id that it generated okay let me just search it okay so as you can see here is alan motrin hello there service now developer so you can see that it is in the send ready queue and i can just preview the email since the html had uh, bold passed here so that's why text message is visible in bold yeah and this is your watermark okay so now that you guys are already uh, fully aware about the email api process both the get and post how we can uh, get the email content and about post also so let's proceed with uh, testing it in real time okay so in the pdi as i had already shared in my linkedin post that uh, service now has turned off uh, sending and receiving mails since Zanadu for security reasons but I created an email account for the same so and I had also shared these screenshots uh, for some reference okay so the same thing I am going to uh, do live testing using the same thing today uh, let me just show you yeah so this is SMTP and this is for POP3 let let's first see smtp so yeah you can name it anything and smtp is for sending so first of all you will choose the type as smtp and authentication you will choose as password server you will give as smtp.gmail.com okay and active uh, true obviously now email user uh, label we can give it as means i think it is service now developer so means i use that so i gave this one and then username i gave my email id only and pa password we will discuss later okay and then in connection security i gave it at uh, gave it as ssl or tls and port i gave it as 465 so same thing you will replicate for if you are uh, executing this same thing you can replicate for your smtp and for the password let me just show you what we need to do 
okay so first of all uh, for enabling everything uh, you need to go to your email account i am already in my email uh, account like this is okay you can see this is service now developer at the rate gmail.com so i'm already in my email account so you have to go to your email account and you need to go to your settings okay okay I, I guess i'm already in settings that's the reason it's not so you have to go to your settings and from here you have to go to see all settings okay see all settings and then you have to go to forwarding and pop or uh, imap okay and my status as you can see it is pop is enabled okay uh, means it is uh, for uh, receiving mails okay pop is enabled means i will be receiving mail from uh, that uh, from service now pdi for that pop is there uh, so my status is enabled if it is not enabled for you guys then you can click on this one enable pop for mail that arrives from now on just click on this one okay when messages are accessed to with pop i marked it as delete like i had said uh, that it will delete for me but since i am showing you the testing now uh, then i am keeping it as red okay i'm keeping it as red otherwise means after your all the testings are over you can first of all just disable this pop and then you can also delete all the mails means it won't be much than yeah, like maximum it would be 10 to 20 mails even if you are testing right it is just a pdi it is not a customer instance which will be having 50,000 mails every day so that will not be an issue right so first of all you will check this one mail that arrives from now on and then mark gmail copy as red you can choose any that you want keep gmails copy in inbox i marked it as red okay you can also choose to archive and delete now auto expunge on this is for imap and i have uh, to an mark a message as delete I have just uh, used this also okay that is it and then uh, and then you will have the password that I was talking about uh, yeah the password that I have given here uh, you can uh, give the password like from here you go to your Google account that your Gmail is having you just go to your Google account you will land in this page just to go to security I hope you guys would already be having two-step verification if not you can turn that on first of all add your number or uh, your recovery email address and turn on your uh, verification two-step verification and then you can type app password here okay and from here go to app passwords in the security I, I have I have created it for service now PDI which I am using okay the just I will create again for you and show you right service now here I just I am creating it and then ha it gave me this password okay this same password I have done I have done there okay I'm deleting it because I want to be using it I'm already using my service now one yeah so yeah that is same password which I have given here I hope you understood the process okay then after doing all this just click on test connection hmm? you can see connection is successful okay so that is about this one and then about the POP uh, for now we will just be uh, doing the uh, sending one testing uh, but okay I'm showing you for this also there is not much difference here uh, the type will just be POP3 server will be POP3 dot gmail.com again authentication will be password username and password is same that we uh, we just generated there using our google account app passwords connection security again it will be ssl and tls and port will be 995 like port here is 465 there it will be 995 okay yeah now in place of here i will just be giving uh, my email id which is the original one okay so shival service now developer at the rate gmail.com that too i am using okay that too i am using only so okay we don't need this also it is just an array okay I am already we are uh, using to send so I am demonstrating it using shivalika gupta 13 at the rate gmail.com which is my another email id now subject I will be just giving it hello there shivalika like I demonstrated from rest api okay uh, text message I will give same uh -uh. just will add few things
okay the same thing i will give it here I will let be the HTML that is already applied here, not removing it. Table name incident. Uh, what other thing I can do is I'll just copy the. Okay. And I'll just give this ID here. Yeah. So that is it. Now let me just send it. Uh, yeah, 200. Okay. So yeah, it give me an uh, ID that we will check in emails table. Uh -uh. Okay, so you can see that it is showing type as sent. Now, if I had not configured those email accounts, it would not be uh, it would not be showing type as sent. Instead, it would be showing type as send ready, or it would be showing uh, yeah, mostly it is send ready only. Send failed hardly it happens, but yeah, it is mostly in send ready state only. But since uh, nothing is working, so it is not sending. Now in the re recipients, you can see, and this is all things. Now let me just go to here. Uh, it has come from Shivalika service now developer at the rate gmail.com the one email the email account that I configured and it is sent to this hello there Shivalika from REST API this is testing so as you can see this is completely functional yeah so that was that I hope I hope you learnt a lot of new things from this video again and please consider like share and subscribe and um, that's that thank you so much bye bye